I'm Barry Smitherman. I'm the chairman of the Texas Public Utility Commission. Texas leads the country in the amount of wind energy that we have presently on our electric grid. We have over 10,000 megawatts total in Texas, and about 9,000 megawatts of that are interconnected with the ERCOT grid, which serves most of the people in the state of Texas. We have a plan to go from that amount of wind up to over 18,500 megawatts of wind. Now that will clearly establish us as the country, if not the world's leader in wind energy. By 2013, the amount of wind on our grid will be about 20 to 25 percent of all the energy generated for electricity in ERCOT. To move all this wind energy from West Texas and the Panhandle, which is where the wind blows the best, but not a lot of people live there, to where most of the people live, we're building transmission lines. No other place in the country is building transmission lines like Texas. Now we realize not everybody likes transmission lines, but if you want to have wind, if you want to have renewable energy, we've got to build some of these lines. We're going to do it in the most hospitable way to the land and the people on the land, working with landowners so that we can bring wind energy from the Panhandle in West Texas into the Dallas-Fort Worth area, the I-35 corridor, and into the Houston area. Electric prices in Texas are really low today. We have prices for residential customers that are in the eight to nine cent a kilowatt hour range. That is dramatically lower than they've been in many years. It is about 20% lower than they were back in 2001 when the legislature deregulated the Texas electric market. Commercial and large industrial customers are able to purchase power at rates even lower than that. And in visiting with many of them, my understanding is those electric rates, those low electric rates are one of the reasons they're able to continue manufacturing, refining, and keeping people employed in Texas. Shop for electricity rates. You can get a bargain in Texas. Now's the time to lock it in for a number of years.